Hi, this video will show you how to register your OCI database with Azure AD along with a few other things uh, you need to do uh, in Azure AD for the database. For the database uh, to be able to work with Azure AD tokens, uh, to be able to get from users and applications and authorize them to the database uh, and to verify that these tokens are actually from Azure AD, we need to be able to uh, get some information from Azure AD, we need to register this database with Azure AD. Um, and when you register your database with Azure AD, you get the metadata uh, from Azure AD, to, which you take back to your database, uh, so you can uh, uh, integrate with Azure AD. Uh, this allows you to get the public key to validate your tokens, and also allows uh, you can set up database clients to be able to get Azure AD database access tokens for users uh, and also get uh, them for applications. And then you have app roles, you set app roles for the database for users and applications authorization to the database. This can be done before you even create your database in uh, OCI. Uh, this is the, the first step you need to do. Uh, the information you need to get from the uh, um, Azure ID, the tenancy ID, the app ID, and the app ID URI. The general steps are database app registration, which is pretty quick. Then you need to uh, set the app ID URI, the scope, and the app roles. And let's just jump right into that. You and you open your Azure portal. I'll get a screen something like this. And remember, you, you go into Azure AD. This is uh, everything's going to be done in Azure AD. Let's go into app registrations, new registration. We'll call this example database. And we'll just make it single tenancy, but it can be a single multiple tenancy depending on your use case. The redirect URI does not have to be set for database registration. And that's actually it. You register, and now the database is registered with uh, Azure AD. Now, remember, I said a few other things have to be done as well. One is setting the app ID URI. And there's a set button uh, with a link here. Now you notice the um, this uh, the string here is the app ID for the uh, uh, for the database. What you ha what you also have to put in here is the domain name started with HTTPS. So we replace the API colon with the, uh, your domain name for your Azure tenancy, followed by the app ID. The app ID is already filled in, so that makes that part easy. You save this. Now remember, it does have to start with HTTPS or be rejected by the database. And then uh, once the app ID URI is set, then you need to add a scope. A scope, the actual name, uh, can be anything. Just got to remember what it is uh, because you'll need it for uh, uh, when you connect to, from, let's say, an application. You can set up for admins and users or admins only. And then you have some uh, consent screen text. And I'll just keep it very simple and not very creative for this demo. Okay, make sure it's enabled and add the scope. All right, so create the app ID URI, set the scope, and now we need to add app roles. This is how we're gonna do authorization to the database. Um, these are uh, uh, users and groups in Azure AD will get assigned to these app roles and then the app roles will be mapped in the database to schemas and roles. And that's how that uh, authorization works. A, a, a user has to be mapped uh, to at least one, to, to exactly one schema in the database. So let's create a couple of uh, uh, Of app roles again, not very creative, make it very general. Add that, and we'll make another one more of a, um, an application app role. Okay, so now I've created two app roles. Now let's go back to the overview for this example database. 
and you can see I've got the uh, application ID URI. I've got the uh, application ID and the, and the directory tenant ID. And those are the three pieces you need. So you can copy that to the clipboard, copy this to the clipboard, the application client ID and the app ID URI, copy those and then copy that out. And then you'll need that to enable the database uh, for Azure AD integration. That's it. Thank you.